taste and see so I'm going to be putting the Word of God in my mouth then I will see it happen if I don't put it in my mouth I'm never gonna see it happen the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott I thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below and if it's not your first time here then consider becoming a partner with us and together we are making a difference in the way people walk with God we are selling a particular kind of knowledge here knowing the Holy Ghost as God and how to walk with him say how to walk with him well if he is God and he is in the earth and of course we have many messages available on that he is God and he is in the earth how we walk with him becomes important doesn't it I mean if he's God in the earth and we don't know how to walk with him what good would it be not too good so number one we walk with him by saying words did you know that the number one way that you walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today is by opening your mouth and saying words sometimes you got to return to the basics you know a lot of people don't know the basics mm -hmm. Amos 3 3 says what can two walk together except they be agreed and the word agreed means to say the same thing so it would be impossible to walk with God or live with God in this earth unless you're saying the same thing say saying the same thing. saying the same thing so once you know that the Holy Ghost is God you need to learn how to say how to, how to. say the same thing mm -hmm. right well if you're gonna say the same thing that he said well you need to find out what he said first and then get in agreement with it mm -hmm. right. say get in agreement with it, get in agreement with it. Mm -hmm. what does agreement mean say the same thing all right so we're knowing the Holy Ghost as God as a person and we're realizing that he is God wouldn't that be good mm -hmm. you know through this ministry it's amazing how many people that will either comment or reply that I'm just realizing that the Holy Ghost is God mm -hmm. right and if he is God like I've said before you should worship God mm -hmm. once you know him as God you should worship him as God but most people don't even preach about the Holy Ghost at all or if they do they're just talking about an anointing mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 talking about knowing the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him Amen. are you here yes. so once we know that he's God what do we see here that without faith it's impossible to please him so if you're gonna walk with God it's a faith proposition and it's a word proposition faith will be involved and the word will be involved are you here yes. and if you want to walk with God you're gonna to have to say some things he's a word God and he's a faith God and if you want to walk with God you will be saying some things the Holy Ghost will do for you whatever you say that he will do for you the Holy Ghost is gonna do for you what you say he will do for you and he won't do for you what you don't say he's a word God he's a faith God if we're gonna walk with him there's gonna be words involved and faith involved you're gonna end up saying some things the Holy Ghost will do for you whatever you say he will do for you so the question you can ask yourself is will this work on my situation mm -hmm. well we're talking about you saying words in agreement with God the Holy Ghost it will work for you in your situation if you say it will mm -hmm. but let's look at this will this work in my situation Luke chapter 4 verse 4 Jesus answered him saying it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God mm -hmm. if he's saying you are to live by the Word of God there has to be life say life, life in the Word of God he's telling you to live by the Word of God 
there must be life in the Word of God say there must be life must be in the Word of God if we're called to live by the Word of God there must be something in the Word of God to live by mm -hmm. all right so there's life in the Word of God so man that means you shall not live by bread alone but by the Word of God other places it says every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so God is saying things mm -hmm. say God is saying things is saying. and I have to live by those things that God is saying and there's life in those things that God is saying so if I get in agreement and say the same things that God is saying mm -hmm. life will come out of that word into my life mm -hmm. now what kind of life do you suppose will come out of that word into your life it be whatever life was in that word if God said by his stripes you're healed and you start saying by his stripes I'm healed what kind of life's gonna come out of that word into your life healing, healing and you will live by it Amen. so man shall live by if we're gonna live by it there has to be life in it mm -hmm. and that word out of the mouth is how we get the life out of it now who spoke the scriptures the Holy Ghost spoke the scriptures so we already I'm showing you here what he spoke and if we're gonna walk with him by being in agreement with him and saying those things and getting life and living out of that word we need to know who spoke it first yes. right because we're talking about we're walking with the Holy Ghost second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture say scripture you know what that is right this scripture is of any private interpretation verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so what were these holy men of God doing they were speaking what were they speaking the words of God mm -hmm. they were moved by the Holy Ghost you see that moved by the Holy Ghost they spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost and here we have the scriptures so we already have the Holy Ghost having spoken certain things he's the same God that's in the earth today he spoke these things now if we want to walk with him we're going to say the same things we're gonna live by the words that came out of the mouth of God and if we're gonna live by those words there had to be life in the word to begin with mm -hmm. right. are you here yes. mm -hmm. so there's life in every word of God that you can live by some people are getting this this is good get this every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass it has the life in it to make it happen mm -hmm. say it has the life in it to make it happen so it's in there already Holy Ghost spoke it and the life to make it happen or the ability to make it happen or the faith as we'll see later to make it happen is in the word itself yeah. now it comes a matter of how do we get it out of the word and into our situation so every word of God has the ability or life within itself to bring itself to pass and again bring itself to pass itself would be what whatever it said so if he said by his stripes you're healed there's healing in that verse to bring healing to pass mm -hmm. if he said he's gonna prosper you mm -hmm. right the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it what's in that verse of Scripture the life and the prosperity to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. it's in it already yes. are you getting this mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 for as the rain comes down in the snow from heaven and returns not thither but waters the earth and makes it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what did we just read about God's word it came out of his mouth you understand 
so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it my word shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it how can he say that unless there was ability in that word to bring itself to pass yes are you here yes. so there's power there's faith there's life in every word of God to bring itself to pass will it work in my situation yes if you learn how to walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by being in agreement with his word those things will come to pass those things that he already said mm -hmm. now 2nd Corinthians 1 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen mm -hmm. amen means so be it so he's already said to all the promises of God yes mm -hmm. he spoke the promise and then said yes in case you were confused yeah. all the promises in him are yes and amen who says the amen we, we, we do we have to agree with his word for it to come to pass as a yes in our life mm -hmm. is this any good yes. have you seen this so far I'm really trying to establish this is basic but it's it is how we walk with God by speaking in agreement with his word and it's important for you to understand that every word of God especially every promise of God has the ability power force faith in it life in it to bring itself to pass whatever it said to pass in your life whether it's healing whether it's youth renewal whether it's prosperity whatever it is it will bring itself to pass you don't have to make it come to pass mm -hmm. you understand that what brings it to pass the word itself the power that's in the word makes it come to pass mm -hmm. James chapter 1 verse 21 receive with meekness the what engrafted word which is able to save your souls and that word saved there we look it up in many other places in the Bible it means delivered it means healed it means basically whatever you need mm -hmm. you understand yeah. so we're gonna receive with meekness the engrafted say engrafted engrafted word now if you're gonna graft something onto a tree what do you do you cut off something that was there before and then you graft on a new something in this case we're engrafting the word I'm engrafting the word I'm taking the word and I'm engrafting it into my life well if it's a word how are you gonna engraft it we're gonna get here in a little bit but you're gonna speak it you understand so I'm gonna cut off saying something I'm sick I never I'm get sick this time of year all the time right I'm gonna cut off say cut off, cut off. I'm gonna cut off that and I'm gonna engraft the word of God which is able to save your souls it's saying the word is able to do it yes. did it say you're able to do it no. no it says he's able to do it we're the ones that are engrafting it but it's the word that's going to save or bring to pass whatever the word is that you're engrafting yes. are you here yes. I'm no longer poor my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus mm -hmm. When I see a need come up, I cut off at the tongue what I was going to say. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I'm going to engraft in there what? His word. My God supplies all my needs. The blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it. This is how you do. This is how you do it. This is how you walk with God. You're engrafting His word. Say His word. His word. It's not your word. Your word wasn't working. You're engrafting his word and his word has the ability within it to bring itself to pass in your life it will bear that fruit if you graft it in mm -hmm. we all understand grafting right should have brought a diagram or something grafted something on a tree so we receive the engrafted word which is able to deliver save heal prosper if I engraft it in it's able to do it if I don't engraft it in it's not able to do it 
And if it's able to do it, it must have power in itself. Say in itself. In itself. To do it. It's not my power. Are you here? Mm -hmm. It brings itself to pass. If I engraft it. Some people have never experienced the effect of having the word engrafted in their life they've never experienced the effect of having the word in their mouth mm -hmm. some people are you here mm -hmm. some people have never experienced the effect say effect, effect. of having the word of god in their mouth mm -hmm. what's the effect of the word of god in their mouth will be what the word of god is mm -hmm. because that word of god produces itself in your life if you have it in your mouth mm -hmm. if i don't have it in my mouth it can't effectually do itself mm -hmm. even unfortunately word of faith people people will call themselves word of faith people they believe this stuff they've heard this stuff for years but they've never done it people have gone through this whole era of word of faith all this teaching about the mouth and confession mm -hmm. and being in agreement with god and his word and never have had it come to pass because they don't do it are you here I can name them over and over and over people that would go well I tried it and it didn't work well you try you didn't keep you didn't continue right. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on to perfection now read down to verse 5 because there's a whole bunch of stuff in there I just don't want to have to touch on right now and have tasted the good Word of God now if I'm tasting the good Word of God what does that say to you that I have done with the Word of God it's in your mouth mm -hmm. you don't taste things with your leg or your foot or your hand you if you having tasted the good Word of God meaning they they've experienced the good word of why would they call it the good Word of God because it did something for them in their life having tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come but you have to taste the word of God you have to put it in your mouth there's another verse of scripture that says taste and see that the Lord is good when am I gonna see the results of the Lord being good after I taste taste and see so I'm going to be putting the word of God in my mouth then I will see it happen if I don't put it in my mouth I'm never gonna see it happen mm -hmm. so this what I'm talking about tonight is something that everyone should experience everyone can and everyone should if they will put the Word of God in their mouth mm -hmm. I'm reminded of you know Alec remember Alice in Wonderland and what did it say on the little cookie there eat me mm -hmm. you're not gonna see the result until you put it in your mouth and what am I talking about putting in your mouth the scriptures the word and it doesn't take five scriptures it takes one scripture just one prove it. you can prove it with one scripture you put that scripture in your mouth and you say it and you say it and you say it and you continue to say it mm -hmm. and other things that you used to say remember we've engrafted that one thing in there so we're not gonna say those things anymore we've cut those off say I've cut those off I'm not gonna say those things anymore that's what cut those off mean and I'm only gonna say say only gonna say only. I'm only gonna say that scripture are you here mm -hmm. one scripture one bite <laughs> I can take the one scripture and I've proven this over and over again lots of times I'll have many scriptures that I'm saying all the time but if there's a situation I'm dealing with I'll find one scripture that deals with that particular situation and I'll cut off saying anything else and I'll engraft that one word and and say it mm -hmm. what's gonna happen there that word is gonna be able to go out and bring itself mm -hmm. to pass mm -hmm. I'm not making it come to pass the word itself mm -hmm. is bringing itself to pass because the word itself has the power and the ability and the life in it yes. to bring itself to pass you put it in your mouth you say it say I put it in my mouth I say it when you say it what happens what do we know about Romans chapter 10 verse 17 faith comes by hearing so when you say it faith comes because you hear it mm -hmm. by the way it's not your faith it's his faith 
how can faith come by hearing the word right say faith comes. faith comes by hearing the word how can it come by hearing the word unless there's faith in the word it's not just uh, me I'm not generating faith Ooh, no faith is in the word to bring itself to pass when I hear it the faith that's in that word goes into me mm -hmm. so when I say the word the faith goes in my ear and more faith comes mm -hmm. first John chapter 5 verse 4 for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world I wish he would just tell us what the victory is that overcomes the world and here the world could mean poverty the world could be sickness mm -hmm. the world could be any number of things that you need to be delivered from right it's in the world you know that right yes. there's things in the world that you need to overcome mm -hmm. this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith well how did we get that faith we just made it up oh I gotta believe I gotta believe I gotta believe no that's not how you believe you believe because the worst faith in the word mm -hmm. that you put in your mouth and you heard mm -hmm. I find it curious it goes even our faith mm -hmm. who wrote this verse of scripture the Holy Ghost wrote this verse of scripture and he says our faith it's his faith there's faith we know in the word of script in the verse right mm -hmm. but then you have engrafted it into yourself and it becomes your faith too mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. that's how you got the faith it came from him mm -hmm. say I got the faith, got the faith. From, him. from him we're not trying to generate faith mm -hmm. he has the faith we just engraft it into us is this making sense yeah this is the victory that overcomes the world overcomes the sickness overcomes the lack even our faith our why who's the our Holy Ghost and you you and the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. his faith becomes your faith mm -hmm. you're walking with him in agreement and his word is coming to pass it becomes part of you it is engrafted into what happens to that plant that you've engrafted into the branch that you engrafted into the plant mm -hmm. it becomes part of that plant it becomes you say it becomes me, becomes me. Romans chapter 10 verse 8 says but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach what saith it the word is nigh thee it's in your mouth and then it's in your heart say it's in my mouth, it's in my mouth. and then it's in my heart then it's in my verse 10 for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession of what confession of the word and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation again that word healing deliverance prosperity so I'm saying it with my mouth I'm hearing it with my ear it goes down into my heart mm -hmm. and how long am I gonna do it every once in a while I'll get a question like this well how long do I do it until it's right here confession is made unto salvation or unto the deliverance you keep saying it what are you gonna you're not gonna say anything else you've already cut off that other thing right so you're gonna start confessing the scripture that bears its own fruit unto salvation or until it comes to pass so you need to learn how to use the word as a tool like a wrench that fits you ever try to use a wrench that doesn't fit that's no fun right and if it almost it kind of fits but it's a little big and you push too hard on it what happened yeah spins out and you bash your knuckles so you're gonna find the word that fits learn how to use the word like a tool mm -hmm. if it's healing that you need find a healing scripture and use that healing scripture like a tool and put pressure on it it won't break it's not gonna break but most people aren't even using the tool mm -hmm. are you here are you getting this yes. 
we're talking about the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him he wants you to do this he's mm -hmm. given you the tools you're just not using them mm -hmm. and you need to use them so use it like a tool find the right one and use it and put pressure on it until that bolt comes off mm -hmm. until that problem loosens apply torque Joshua 1 8 says you shall meditate in the word day and night Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth and in that day this was the book of the law was the only part of the Bible they had you understand that in our day we have other verses that are yes and amen yes. this book of the law shall not depart out of your what mm -hmm. mouth if it's not out of your mouth it's in your mouth right so you're gonna keep the word in your mouth and meditate therein day and night the word meditate the literal translation is to mutter you're gonna keep the word in your mouth day and night and you're gonna mutter it day and night my mother was a mutter you know what mutter means so you're mumbling you're muttering under your breath many times what the word well, the Bible wouldn't tell me to do that this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt mutter it day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success why would that be because the word is going before you and making you prosperous and successful are you here yes. so I guess it comes down to how much success you want how much success do you want in whatever area that is again we're using it as a tool the more you do it the more success you'll have mm -hmm. say the more I do it the more success I'll have God's not the one holding back on you he's already said yes to the whole promise yes. whether it's youth renewal whether it's healing whether it's prosperity are there any scriptures on prosperity mm -hmm. are there any scriptures on healing yes. are there any scriptures on youth renewal yes. which one is God holding back on you yes. which one is he saying you can't walk with him in the earth in none of them he's already said yes we have to say the amen mm -hmm. we engraft it and it brings itself to pass mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 but the people that do know their God remember how we started this out knowing God the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits the Amplified Bible says the people that do know their God shall prove themselves strong stand firm and do exploits they do, do. If we know that the Holy Ghost is God right people that know their God mm -hmm. and it says we're gonna be strong and do exploits how are we gonna do exploits we know God how are we gonna walk with God in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word that's how we do mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. that's how we do the exploits the number one thing we do if I ask you how do you walk with God what's the number one thing that you do you do the speaking of the word it's the number one thing you do what's the number one way you walk with God by speaking in agreement with his word what is the number one thing that you do then you speak the word very good move to the front right it's the number one thing you do and most of the time almost all the time it's the only thing you have to do that's your job to do is speak the word that's you doing the word is speaking the word that's you uh, engrafting the word meekly into your life is by speaking so the people that do know their God shall prove themselves strong stand firm and do exploits how are they going to do the exploit they will be doing the word by saying the word mm -hmm. and I know a lot of times we feel like we got to run around and do a whole bunch of stuff when the reality is we need to do the word mm -hmm. say the word we know God how does God do things 
he says his word mm -hmm. how did everything get into existence here by him speaking the word how does he do everything else by saying the word exactly so if you're gonna be with him doing things with him what are you gonna be doing saying, saying the word it's your number one thing it's how you do mm -hmm. say it's how, I do. it's how I do his words have the ability to bring themselves to pass what does he need he needs you to say his word so that he can bring so that the word itself can bring itself to pass mm -hmm. you know this really should be liberating to people because they don't have to sit there and try to believe 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 you simply take the word that already has faith in it and begin to say it Amen. it brings itself to pass as long as you continue to say it so the doing is the saying the saying is the doing so will it work in my situation yeah as long as you say it only if you say that it will I like to say it that way will it work in my situation only if you say that it will mm -hmm. his word works in my situation mm -hmm. I use it like a tool and whose part is it to do the saying what? it's your part mm -hmm. if you don't do the saying he can't do the doing and he will do for you whatever you say that he will do for you right. say this the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. will do for me do whatever, for me. whatever I, say I say he will do for me you have to just keep continuing in it and watch how the Holy Ghost operates in your life and as they begin to say the word says the Spirit of the Lord they shall see things begin to reorganize refabricate and come into fruition the great things that I have stored up for you from the beginning of time for this is the end generation and the culmination of years and we shall be great in the earth says the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus name Amen the Holy Ghost is gonna do whatever we say he's gonna do what are we gonna say about it say this Holy Ghost I say over this offering it shall be multiplied and return back to me greater and greater more and more the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it. thank you in Jesus, Jesus name, right amen. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. 